Happy New Year, everybody. This is Markus, and yes, they're finally here. I couldn't actually think of a better way to kick off the year 2021, but with a series of videos regarding SimpliVity 325. By the way, big shout out to HPE for sending me these bad boys to my studio, and we're gonna take a close look of these guys with a series of videos here. But before we actually can move on, we have to do the unboxing, and I was thinking that maybe it would be a best start for the video series to actually see what comes in the package and do the unboxing video. So, here goes. We have a carton box here, as you can see. And what's inside? All right. What do we have here? So first off, we can see... Oh, let's see what this one is. We have a cable arm kit, easy install. We're not gonna need this because we don't have a rack at the moment. Then what we have is a rack mount kit. I remember like 10, 15 years ago, it was not that easy, but these are just snapping in place and doesn't require any screws or anything like that. What else do we have? Oh. Do not trash required equipment. That must be me. Okay. There you go. Then what do we have? Bunch of manuals. Country kit list. We have a license entitlement certificate for the OmniStack software, 6.9 terabytes. We have an ILO advanced license here, and then we have a couple of power cables here. We'll get to that a bit later. Now, to the uh, main event. Let's take this guy out from here. Oh, there's still something. We have a couple of plates here for PCI slots, etc. So that's handy. Let's move this box away. Ooh, there it goes. Alrighty. Here we go. As usual, it's really, really well packaged with this foam. I never had any doubts about any rack hardware or data center hardware getting damaged during the transportation. They are they are really really well packaged, generally at least. Okay. Here we are. Let's take this out. Alright. Couple of stickers, tapes out here. There we go. And other way around, I guess. Some moisture capturizers, isn't that the word? All right, let's take a look at this guy here. Here we go. Careful. Uh oh. There it goes. And here we have it. Here we have it. Simply with the 325. Why I'm so excited about this specific version of SimpliVity is two things basically, or three things. It comes in one rack unit form factor. So it's, it's, uh, tiny. So the form factor is actually ideal for many use cases these days. And the second one is that it doesn't actually have the physical uh, OmniStack accelerator card anymore. If you remember when I did a review or this hardware tour of SimpliVity 380, you can actually take a look at that from somewhere here, probably here. The 380 had and still has today the separate accelerator card, which is responsible for secondary data operations there. And I kind of like the idea, but they are claiming that this software version of that same physical card is actually not that much behind what comes to performance. 
Obviously it, it is eating a little bit more of the main CPU and memory capacity from this guy, but that's the trade-off. And the third thing I'm excited about this guy is the AMD Epic processor that this guy has. We're gonna be spending a fair amount of time talking about that one in the future videos, but that AMD Epic is something else. AMD has made uh, an impressive comeback after a few years of silence, but now they have these super impressive CPUs, what comes to data center stuff and also consumer side. So AMD is on fire. I'm, I'm really liking those guys. Then we have the power cables. Let's see. Let's open it up from here. There we go couple of power cables that actually fit, of course, these guys here in the back. Of course, needing these when we do the actual installation with the next video. Then here we have the cable arms. I'm going to show this to you, even though I'm not going to need it, but the, uh, oh, Ah oh, yes, a part of that arm there. So this is helping a lot with the cabling in, in data centers. So when you install this arm in the, the server and when you pull out the server from the rack, all the cables that are connected in the rear of the server, they are actually being like extended with the arm like this. Without the arm, you have a high risk of them entangling together and, and maybe if you pull it out, they can actually get uh, de-plugged, unplugged from the, from the rear. So that's not good. This is seriously recommended and makes the cabling easy, nice and easy using these guys, like uh, just clicking them like cables from from these little little things here so very very handy feature or piece of hardware there but as I said I'm not gonna need that in my demo environment here you go oh safety compliance and warranty information sounds serious we will take a look at that later maybe and then uh, rack mount kit as i already mentioned this makes uh, rack installation a breeze um, used to be not like that it used to be quite a lot more difficult to do the installation but these days it's it's uh, ridiculously easy so you have four pieces here Four pieces of the rails, whoops. All right, here we go. These little ones, these are attached to the sides of the SimpliVity. And then these bigger ones are attached to the rack. And then you just slide the SimpliVity in and it snaps in place. And then it has this uh, sliding feature that you can Actually, just uh, pull the server out for some maintenance, whatever you want to do, and uh, then slide it back there. We are going to make a proper hardware tour of this guy, don't worry, but I just have to take a quick look. Just a really quick look inside. Ready? And here we go. So we have a lot of fans here. We have the AMD Epic processor right there then we have a bunch of memory actually it's fully populated with memory at the moment we have the raid adapter a couple of power supplies network cards etc so on as i said we are gonna have a proper hardware tour of this guy later on but just to give you a quick idea so that's it there you go so we have a couple of cables we have the the uh, cabling arm with some accessories there then the rack mount rail then we have a bunch of licenses and user guides and the real deal itself. So this was just a quick unboxing video just to show you guys around what we have in the box. And the next one is going to be about the installation. And then we do a quick look at the couple of main features of SimpliVity. And after that, a proper hardware tour, etc, etc. But what I would be really interested in is hearing what you guys want to see. So what kind of features would you like me to demo? 
what are the hardware components, etc., that, that would require a bit more attention. Tell me those requests and wishes in the comments down below. And if you like the video, of course, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe as well. Until the next time.